Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. It's turbulent times for the Hillsong Church. Celebrity founder Brian Houston has been forced out after damning allegations the married pastor sent inappropriate texts to one woman and burst into the hotel room of another. Whosoever will to the Lord may come. It doesn't look like that. And we've talked about the effects of the situation with my father and the impact this has had on me emotionally. It's a fall from grace of biblical proportions. Brian Houston's 45 year reign as head of the huge Hillsong Church has come to a shocking end. At the Hillsong Church in Sydney's Waterloo today, the barriers were up and the doors locked tight. Church staff and volunteers, no doubt rocked by the news, their longtime leader has left them. Tanya Levin, is a former Hillsong member and longtime critic. It's really confirmed the way that they operate, the paranoia, the fear of outsiders, and the way in which they're willing to punish anybody who raises a voice about them. Give me some sound. There have been a multitude of sins, spinning all the way back to the church's origins in the 1970s and to Brian Houston's less than holy father, Frank. Frank was accused of historical child sex offences. Brian still faces the charge of concealing those crimes. I don't believe the church did protect him at all from not going to jail. I feel like the church um, kept the doors open for any victim, anyone at all, who decided they wanted to go to the police, to, that they could go to the police. The sins of the father visited upon the son, forced Brian to step down as Hillsong's global figurehead last month. Hillsong's external legal counsel gave the board advice regarding the current charge I'm facing and that it would be best practice for me to step aside completely from church leadership during the court proceedings. Today, the board went the extra step. In a statement to its 150,000 members worldwide, it declared, Dear Church, we would like to advise you that Pastor Brian Houston has resigned as Global Senior Pastor of Hillsong Church and the Board has accepted his resignation. Irrespective of the circumstances around this, we can all agree that Brian and Bobby have served God faithfully over many decades. We ask that you continue to pray for them and the entire Houston family during this challenging time. Hillsong is no stranger to challenging times. No famine, plague, or pestilence sent from God, but a string of scandals. Because without him, you were dead in your sin. The infidelity of celebrity pastor Carl Lentz, accusations of homophobia, and just last week, complaints from two women that Brian Houston himself sent inappropriate text messages and spent 40 minutes in a hotel room with a woman who was not his wife, Bobby. With every scandal comes denials and a siege mentality. Don't feel that you need to be texting people or anything. The media will already be on to it. So, you know, fear not. Then there was always the question of the millions of dollars in donations it takes from the faithful. Sometimes we're so tight-fisted holding a $5 note that the Queen's got a tear in her eye. All of it tax-free. With that tax-free status, must come greater responsibility. If you don't pay tax like you or me, then you ought to be more accountable. Nick, does the buck stop with Brian Houston? Obviously, there's a lot more to come out here, but if you're the leader, the buck must stop with you. Well, we be and the criticism, Hillsong has always Jesus been business Christ. first, Bible Amen. second. Hillsong Church has never really claimed to be much about the poor. They've really only ever claimed to be about spreading their gospel, their version of the gospel, which they need a lot of money to do. With Brian gone, the leadership falls to... Our interim acting senior global pastor, I can't even say that. Phil Dooley and his wife, Lucinda. Because we've got this. <laughs> I don't know how to do it, but we've got it. <laughs> and we pray, God, uh, that you will be with him in this court case and all that is ahead for him. Former Senator Nick Xenophon hopes there's more than just change at the top. For the love of God, 
there has to be transparency and accountability on the part of the church hierarchy. But it could still be an interim measure. Who's to say a second coming is impossible and that once his trial is over, Brian Houston might rise again. We love you, church. God bless.